Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Gonna do some ornaments today, some resin ornaments, mixed media beach resin ornaments. I have this uh, ceramic, and this is just a little heart. I also have this, um, I believe this is like four inch um, disc ceramic. I will try to leave, I got these quite a while ago, so I'll try to leave the link to where I got them. If I can remember, <laughs> uh, but I have had these for quite a while. Then I have some, some scallop shells and I'm gonna do resin in this one and then I have a little one. So I'm gonna do some resin in that one. Um, so first part of this tutorial is gonna be, is the mixed media part. So I always use sand and shells and crystals for my beach. And the sand is consisted of Elmer's glue all, tan paint and sand, real beach sand that I get from the beach down the street. So um, you just put all that together, mix it to like a really thick paste consistency. And then I spread that on and then I decorate the sand with shells, glass, pearls, whatever, whatever you want. You can get as creative as you want with it. Then you're going to let that dry. That's going to be the bottom portion of the uh, disc and the heart here. And then after that is dry, we'll do the resin portion. Um, and I'll show you how I do that, okay? Um, I'm going to be using KS resin. I use the, uh, it's a two-part resin, Liquid Art Ultra UV. That's the one I like the most. Um, I do have a coupon code. Um, I'll put it on the screen here for you to save 5% off on their website. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get ready for the holidays. Um, and uh, I need I need to restock my, my shop. So yeah, we have a lot to do. I have a bunch of ornaments. I'm going to just tilt the camera. As you can see, I'm doing a whole bunch today. And I have a whole bunch of other ornaments that I do that are these little wood cutouts. And I'll show you those real quick. They're... Um, I do the, I haven't obviously done the resin portion of them yet, but you can see um, I did the sand and the shells. And this is like a little snowman. Um, I have the heart and I have a New Jersey shape. That's where I live and people really like these. So um, maybe I'll do one of these two for you. Why not? Mine as well. We'll do the snowman and um, with the resin. Okay, but this is already dry and you can see how the sand dried really hard and you know it's it's not going anywhere I do put a little resin just like brush a little resin at the end on to the stones just to reinforce okay guys so let's get started I am going to show you how I lay down the sand okay so I have a big batch of sand that I keep mixed up because um, I obviously I do a lot of this. So you do want to have to stir it every time to get the glue, incorporate it into the sand and with the paint. Um, but it's like a thick consistency. Um, and it is, it's kind of honestly better to mix this in small batches because it's really hard to stir. Um, but I use my muscles. It's my arm workout for the day. Okay. So we are gonna put down the sand, all right? So I'm just gonna put a little in a cup so it just makes it easier for me here. Okay. All right, so I just have my sand in the cup and then you can mix it again. And you see it's like paste. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, go ahead and we're gonna do this guy too, right? So we'll put him over here. I'm going to go ahead and put my sand on my discs. So I'm just going to take a little, spread it out. You really don't need all that much for these because you really don't really worry about the sides there. I mean, if it gets on there, I always, I take a, a an X-Acto knife at the end and kind of scrape it off, but I'm gonna do the heart. Just do the little tip of the heart. OK, 
Okay, so that first step, it's quite simple. Um, and then what I do is I take this diamond dust. Um, obviously this is at the end here, but I took the diamond dust and I mixed it with some beach sand. So it just makes the sand sparkly. I'm gonna take that in a cup and just sprinkle it on generously. Okay. And then I have some blue crushed glass here. I don't even know what the name of this is. Um, I did get this on Amazon. So I'm just gonna take a little of that, sprinkle that in the sand. And then I have this craft glitter glass. Um, I did get this on Amazon. I'll try to link everything for you down below. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of that in there. And then I have some little baby shells. You can really put anything you want on these. You have, you have sea glass, put some sea glass on there. I'll take off my glove, it's just easier. So I have a little starfish. These are real little starfish. And let's put one here in the sand. Find a smaller one for the heart if I have one. Mm. Gotta be really delicate with these. These break very easily. There's a little nope. Okay, so that's good. All right, and then you put whatever else in. You know, I have a little sea glass here, so I'm going to actually cut this smaller with these um, wheel cutters. Okay, and that way I can put a small piece of sea glass on each one. There we go. All right. So that's the first part. You can get as creative as you want with it. I, oh, I also put this Easy Inlay, and this is um, a Mother of Pearl Easy Inlay. I love this. It just gives it so much sparkle, and I just sprinkle it on the sand, and as it dries, it's going to dry into the sand. So that's all. All right, so we have to put these aside, let them dry. Um, usually takes overnight. Um, sometimes I don't wait that long, but probably going to wait that long for these to dry just so we don't mess them up. All right, guys. So we will be back doing the resin portion in just a minute. Well, for me, it'll be the next day, but for you, it'll be just a minute. All right. So we're back. It's the next day and we have everything dried nice and hard. I have a whole bunch to do. So I mixed up a big thing of resin. This is KS resin. Again, I have a coupon code. It's down below. TSR Creations to save yourself a little bit of money on there. And yeah, oh, we're doing these four. And we're also going to do this guy. I'll show you how we do this guy. Little snowman, okay? So I have a whole bunch down here that I have to do afterwards. That's why I mixed up so much resin. If you can see all those. So we're going to get started here. So the first things first. You want to mix up your resin according to your package, your resin directions. Obviously, mine's one to one ratio, and you mix it for like like three minutes. I usually let a song play and mix, and then it's ready to go. So I'm going to separate it out into the colors that I'm using, and the colors I'm going to use today. I have this. Um, this is by Aluma Light, and this is a resin pigment. Colors as ocean, I believe. 
it just says translucent blue, but it's one of my favorites. It's one I use very often. Um, for the white, I'm also going to be using a Luma Light, and this is the white pigment dye. So we're going to use those two. The other one I'm going to be using is, this is by Unicone Art, and this is Peacock Green. So they're the two colors of my ocean and then the white. Um, so we're going to mix up a little in some cups. So I have a couple cups here. Oh, and as for the shells... They are a little different. I'm going to show you because I did do one of those the other day. And the shells are going to come out. And I just got something on there. They're going to come out looking like that. Okay. So I just take um, gold leaf and I put it around the edge after it's dry. But for the shells, I just do a light blue and white. And then I put the little accents in there. So that's what we're going to be doing on those. So we're going to separate some of this resin into these cups. So I just need a little for this. Whoops, a little too much there. That's right, I'll, I'm going to be doing all those anyway. So, okay, that's for that. And then this is for the white. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? Mm. I'll have to put it over here. So this is the blue. Oh, oh poo. All right, this one's gonna be blue. I wanted to do the one with the more. I need to get more of this. I think I have another bottle. And when you're adding pigments to your resin, if you add, you kind of stick to a like 10% ratio. 10% pigment to your, to your, uh, resin. All right. And here's the white. I'm just going to put a couple drops in there. Okay. And then with the pigment powders, I, I feel you can use a little bit more because I don't know. I just do. So I use probably a little bit more there than the 10%. But if you stick to the 10% with pastes or if you're using acrylic paints, um, you really need to stick to that because they'll get really, um, not so much with the dyes, they're pretty good, but um, acrylic paint gets really gummy quickly if you add too much. So we're gonna stir that up. Beautiful color, this is one of my favorite colors to use. These are pretty much my standard colors. Now I just got, Color all over that. Let's wipe that off. That happens. Just take a little alcohol and wipe that off. So for these, the I'm going to use just a little um, this pigment. Where is it? This one. And this is by Eye Candy, and this is called Angel Blue. So I'm just going to put a very small amount um, in the clear uh, because I want it to be translucent. So you don't want too much. That's probably not enough for these shelves. So we're just gonna use a tiny bit. Like, oh, if you can see how much I have there, just a little bit, just to color it. So it's transparent. Okay, so that's gonna be for the shells. Then I have to mix up. dark blue. Okay. And then the white. Okay. 
Okay. So first things first, we are going to let's do the let's do the shells first and then I can move them out of the way. So for the shells, we're just gonna take the translucent blue that we mixed up and we're just gonna pour it in there. So really easy. You wanna to try to get your shells to be level as possible. It's, it's very hard. Okay. And then pop some air bubbles with our torch. All right, so now let that sit for a minute, okay? And we will go in with a couple little shells, maybe a starfish, a pearl. I always like to put a little pearl in there. So let's do that. Well, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's wait a minute on that. All right. So now I'm going to take just a little clear. I'm just going to drizzle it. Cause I'll do this before I put the... I put the uh, any of the embellishments on there. So really, you just want to take a little clear, drizzle it like that for an ocean line, and I had too much, but that's all right. And then we're going to do the white. And you just want a little bit. Like a couple of lines at the where you put the clear down. Okay, and then we're gonna blow this with our heat gun. That's it. like ocean waves sometimes I'll take a stick and I'll kind of drag the white out just to make it look a little bit prettier okay so we're gonna leave that alone for one minute and we're gonna work on these two I can move these without ruining them all right so we're gonna work on these two and or three Okay, so we're just gonna, I always put my darkest color at the top. So I'm just gonna pour a little on this snowman. And then a little here. And a little here. Okay. And then, I know it's very technical, but I usually use my finger, but I'll, I'll use a stir stick. I'll try to be, I'll try to be neat but when I'm in the thick of it, I'm using my hands. Don't worry about the little hole. You can always drill through that. It's not a big deal. Sometimes I'll stick. It'll kind of go in there. You can stick a stick in there so it'll drain, the resin will drain. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit more on this guy. Okay, and this is where I use my hand to go around the edges on these. Because you wanna get all your sides on these ornaments. All right. All right, now we're gonna put down the lighter color. use the same stick or your hand or whatever you want I'm actually going to use my hand because I'd like to blend the colors you can go around your sides but don't really worry about them too much 
because I kind of go around with an X-Acto knife at the end when they're dry. I'm just going to pick this guy up and blend these colors in. You could use a hair dryer. You could, you could do whatever you want to blend, but this is the way I like to do it. Wipe off your hand. See a little spot that I missed here, so I'm just going to add a little there. All right. So let's pop some air bubbles. All right, and then we're going to take a little bit of clear, which I'm gonna just pour into a cup because it's easier. A little clear and we're going to drizzle a line where we're going to be putting our white so i'm going to put some white here on the snowman and probably some here on this guy we're going to go around the edge of the water same here now these will probably get two coats i'll probably do another coat of clear with white but this is how it might the first step I just do that. All right. Then we're going to blow. Take your heat gun. Blow. Blow the white up into the blue. It's going to go into the hole. If you go too high. Okay, and then torch, and you get the cool cells that come out. And that's that's it for the first uh, the first coat. And you come back tomorrow. If it needs another coat, you put another coat on. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can get away with one, um, but I think with with these, they look a little bit better, and especially if you're going to be charging, you know, a good price for them, you want to you want to make them look as professional as possible. And I think the second coat does that. And sometimes the second coat, I'll just do clear with a little glitter in it, and then the white, um, so it lo really looks really looks pretty. You can play with the white, like I like to drag it. But that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so let me bring my shells back over here without messing them up because they were starting to tilt. Let's see. Hmm. All right, that's okay. Perfect. These are a little bit delicate. See, he's tilting. He's not on there right. But that's okay. Stop. <laughs> All right. So now we're just going to add the... It's a bit, It's easier when you're not having to move them, but I'll have to move them for the camera. So that's making it a little bit more difficult. All right. So we're going to put in some pretty things in our shelves. So I have a pearl, a big pearl here that we're going to plop in there. I have a little pearl. And we'll plop him down there. And let's do a starfish in each one. I think that'll be pretty. Do the big starfish. And then let's find a smaller one. Where's the smaller guy? Okay. And you could put whatever else you want in there. I'm gonna put a little couple pieces of sea of glass. Just to 
give it a little sparkle. And that's it. That is it, guys. So, um, sometimes you have to like bring it back because it's it likes to go through that little hole there. But they look pretty good. All right, guys. So we are gonna let these dry, and I'll come back tomorrow with the next coat. All right, guys. So we're back, and it's a couple days later. They have completely dried. I have to do the second coat. I will show you. I have one that's finished over here. Um, it came out really pretty. As you can see, I went around the sides with the X-Acto knife and took all, took all the uh, resin off that I needed to so it's smooth. I had taped the back. You knew that. I think I showed you that, that I taped the backs of them. The only thing I want to do on this one is put a little clear, um, on, especially on the starfish, because I, I told you the starfish are very fragile. So I'm going to put just a little clear, um, very little bit, just over that. So that's why I still have that on my table. So I got a bunch of other ornaments to do here too. So here are our shells, and they came out pretty. And then I'm going to put the gold leaf around the edge. Okay. And then the other ornaments I did, and I don't know if I showed them to you, were these. Um, and these are these flat balls. I wish I knew where I got these. I got these such a long time ago. Um, I used to hand paint them and then put the resin over it. But I thought I'd do something a little different this year. And I did them like this. So it's just clear with glitter. And then I added this, the glass and the little starfish. They came out really pretty, didn't they? I like them. So I made like six or seven of them. So and here's, and here's another one. And they're all different. So that's a nice, you know, holiday gift for somebody too. All right. So let me mix up some resin and get started. Okay. So we're back. I mixed up uh, about 20 ounces of the KS resin. And uh, cause I have all the other stuff to do. And then I just took a little bit out and I added the Illuminate white to that. Cause that's all I'm doing on these today is the clear and the white. Okay. So we're just going to get started. You're just going to pour a little bit down and uh, it's, real simple. Okay, I'm going to actually pour it into a little cup because it's just easier. Okay. And I'm also going to be just putting a little of the clear on this part, just so we get a nice, um, secure so that we secure everything down okay. I'll tell you it's warmer today and my resin it's so much nicer to work with resin when it's warm like we haven't put the heat on in the house yet. I'd like so on the colder days, it's been cold in here and it's been really hard to work with the resin. It's just like a little FYI for you. Room temperature. It's always best. Okay. And then we'll do the little snowman. Remember to get your sides on that. And then I'm just brushing, just taking just a little, like my finger, and just brushing it on the shells and the glass and the starfish, just to reinforce them. Okay. All right, so when you're done with that, I'm just gonna torch some of the air bubbles. And I'm going to put the white down. Okay. 
Okay, and then take your heat source, which in my case is this, and blow. Okay, and then take your torch, torch it, breaks up his bubbles and you start to get the bubbles in the white. There we go. All right. So these will set and we will come back and I'll show you how I clean them up. Okay. And get them ready to sell. All right, guys. And I also, when I come back, I'll show you how I do the gold around the shells if you are interested in this. All right, so it's like a week later, probably almost 10 days later, because I went on vacation and I wasn't able to film beforehand. So I'm gonna show you how I take off the tape from behind of these ornaments. I'm doing a voiceover because I lost the audio on this clip, but I just heat it up and then I take my X-Acto knife and start to peel off the tape. It's uh, pretty simple. It comes off pretty easily if it's heated up enough. Now, because these sat for two almost 10 days, um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me, but it's not too bad. So then I take the X-Acto knife and I just you know peel up the tape. Just be careful. Um, I've been lucky, um, knock on wood, I've, I haven't had a serious injury with this knife, but um, it does, it, and, and it can happen. So just be careful when you're using these. So just pulling that tape off, the hole um, is a little bit harder to um, clear out, but you can always just use a drill to drill that out, you know, um, after you clean it up. It's not that big of a deal because sometimes the resin gets built up into the hole and you need to use the drill to drill through it. So all the, all the um, tape came off pretty easily. And then on the sides, you're just going to take the X-Acto knife and kind of and this is where I find, because I let them sit for too long, I need to heat them up a little bit more. But this just gives it a nice, clean, um, finished look, and it almost looks like it's printed on the disc, on the ceramic disc, and I just think they come out so, so, so pretty. I've already sold a bunch of these this year, and um, so I'll have to make some more. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just taking the knife and kind of just scraping it down the side, just Again, be careful. So that's all I'm doing here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to skip forward and uh, show you how I put the gold leaf on the shells. Okay, so I like to use this um, liquid gold leaf and I just shake it up. Make sure you shake it up. It's just a metal gold leaf. And I take a very thin brush, um, this one, I think had a little couple frays on it, so you know, it made it a little bit more difficult, but it, it turned out fine. So you just take it and you go around and you paint it on the edge very delicately. And um, just gives it a little bit of a fit more finished look to the, to the ornament. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna speed this part up for you so you can, if, you've, if you sat here this long, you're doing good. give it a little bit of a shimmer on the back of the shell and add some more character to the shell because it is just a white shell. Okay, so that's all I'm doing there. All right, so here is the New Jersey wood ornaments. Um, I already sold the snowman. I had to get it in my shop before I left for vacation. So all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and gave you some good ideas. If so, please leave me a comment and, you know, like and subscribe. All right, have a wonderful holiday season and I hope to see you all real soon. Bye-bye now.